All right, let's take a look at this uh, fourth case study. This is uh, a, a female student, um, and we're just going to jump right into her, her statistics. So she has a, a 680 on her reading, 600 on math, and 670 on writing. Now, from uh, an Ivy League school or top school's perspective, that's not necessarily the most competitive. Um, I would really want it, would have wanted to see this at least being a 650, but preferably having each of these be at least 700 or above. Um, so my first thought is, hmm, this, this student still decided to apply here, so let's see what else, this, what, what else she's about. But I'm, not, uh, I'm a little skeptical in the beginning when I look at this. And then we look at her SAT twos. She has a 620 in US history and a 650 in French. So what I'm thinking is, well, that was brave of her to take an SAT two in a language. Um, so that's noteworthy. And um, she did OK, not great. She has four APs here. English language, she got a four. French, she got a three. AP history, she got a three. And US history, she got a three. So again, this is. Um, not a very competitive um, profile for the top schools uh, in the US. However, I know there's some other really interesting stuff about this student, and so I'll talk about um, how I would weigh that in my mind against the other more compelling elements of her profile. But if I really wanted to, if, if this student really wanted to improve, I'd want to see these SATs closer to the 700s and up. And same with the SATs. That's really a, a good baseline to be shooting for. Additionally, with the APs, I really want to be seeing fours and fives. Um, the other thing I'd want to know is this student will have taken four APs by the time she graduates. I want to know how many APs are offered in her high school. How many APs do most students take? Is four average? Is four above average, below average? What exactly is her um, GPA? I see that she is in the top 15% of her class. I would have really liked to see at least top 10%, even better, top 1% to 5%. So her academic profile is not, not very competitive. Um, she's undecided about what she wants to study, but she knows she likes literature and foreign languages. Uh, and that's consistent with her academic profile here. So she's been taking, she's really presenting a humanities kind of profile. The only uh, sense I have of her math or science ability is here with the 600 in math. And that worries me. So um, I'm a little skeptical going into the rest of this application uh, with, with that background. But let's, let's give her a chance and see what, what else she has. So she is the editor-in-chief of the school newspaper for the last two years. And she was just a contributor in 10th grade. This is very, very noteworthy. Um, probably this is one of the top two positions a student could have within his or her high school. So editor-in-chief um, of the school newspaper, especially if this is a large public school, is a very oftentimes very, very difficult position to get. And so I'm paying close attention to that. The next um, sort of, not that one is necessarily better than the other, but being student body president is also up there as one of those really noteworthy kinds of activities a student can do and really do stand out as being one of the top student leaders. This student is also a weekly contributor to the local youth voice section of the paper. Um, and so this is part of the, um, the school, school paper, I believe. She also writes her own blog um, about food. Well, that's interesting, which she translates into French, Vietnamese, and English. This student is getting very interesting now. So suddenly I'm seeing her interest in languages being translated into her writing, her interest in the humanities and writing, and um, specifically interest in food. And so that's not something that you, you see a lot, students really honing in on one particular topic that's exciting to them. She also was the, the Vietnamese American youth ambassador to France. Well, that's, that's really interesting. So she has activities that she's doing inside the school, that she's doing on her own, and that she's doing outside of school. So that's showing me that she is um, 
She's not limiting herself to just what's available in her school. She's really taking advantage of opportunities that are either available to her or that she wants to create because she is so compelled to do so. Um, in the summers after 10th, she interned at the French consulate office and wrote short stories. And after 11th, she took cooking classes in France and traveled around Europe. So this is actually an extraordinarily interesting um, sort of profile of a student. I love that I can really concretely think about what, she is, what she's all about. I remember her for languages. I remember her for food. I remember her for um, her writing. Those three themes really consistently emerge throughout her application, so as far as I can tell here. I would expect that her teachers would be writing about this. They would be telling me about how charismatic she is and, and enthusiastic she is about these things, and that would really help me understand how genuine this passion is because this is not a typical path to take. And it's not that every student should take this particular path, but for this student, it's, it's very, very interesting. So. It, I'm, I'm on the fence about whether this is quite enough for me to admit this student because this is a really, really neat profile. I could imagine her on a campus living in, a, in the university's French house. I could imagine her starting uh, you know, uh, an eating or cooking club. I could imagine her really having an interesting impact and involvement on her schools, in her school's community. And um, that is something that I'm thinking about. I want to know what kind of community member she's going to be, what kind of roommate she's going to be, what kind of life and excitement she's going to bring to campus. So this really is where my biggest hesitation would be. Um, depending on what the other applicants from this school look, looked like, um, this could be actually a more competitive student. Some things I would consider is, you know, if this student is living in a rural part of the country, if she's particularly low income, um, there might be other, com other reasons why she's had trouble with testing or things like that. Top 15%, if it's a very large public school, might not you know, be too, too much of a deterrent given how compelling these other, other factors are. So those are all things that I'd be thinking about. It's entirely possible that I would admit this student. Um, but if they really are at a very competitive public school in a place like New York or LA or San Francisco, um, and most of the students are taking five, six, seven APs, and most of the top students have you know, 700s and up, I would have a very difficult time admitting this student because really I'm going to be thinking about her in the context of the peers and the other students in her, in her school. But ultimately, this gets me very excited. It's really tangible, concrete themes that emerge. She's really angular in this respect. She's not well-rounded. I don't see sports here. I don't see volunteering. Um, but it's super, super interesting. So this student, for that reason alone, gets me very excited.